you guys are all probably wondering where is the original one block series the last episode i uploaded was over two months ago with paul gg and then it suddenly disappeared well long story short i accidentally deleted my world file while resetting my entire computer i was pretty devastated after spending 500 days making progress on that one block but luckily paul gg came in clutch he had a backup of the world when he collabed with me and he saved the entire series so with all that being said welcome to 600 days on one block minecraft thank you for patiently waiting but we are finally back did you guys miss this place because i know i did what better way to start off the one block world again by mining the one block we have to go back to our roots oh my look at this look at this structure i built i totally forgot about this all the blocks that mine go down into this water stream all the way down there i think it goes over here all the way over here and it goes up this water elevator into these chests right here that is right beside my chest room that's a pretty insane engineering i've uh, built over here i'm kind of impressed but let's get back to mining oh i got another paul gg paul is in need of some friends though so paul's gonna be really happy to see this guy let's go find myself a lead here i have no idea where i put all of my stuff um oh my god i am loaded i have so much stuff in here wow okay there's my lead let's go over here lead him up if i could jump that high and drag him over to paul come on buddy come meet paul paul is a little stinky but you'll get used to him all right come on buddy oh he's huffing and puffing do you hear him all right jen jen meet paul paul meet jen oh they're already they're already making out over there they're already smooching it up my other boy is getting in for the kill too he wants in yeah they, they gotta fight over paul yo where did my chest plate go hello w where did it go i do not remember where it went but let's go back to mining uh, oh no 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 these guys don't spawn the uh the flying monkeys so we are good that kind of scared me a little bit hello i was just drinking my tea and got attacked by these guys oh please go away please i don't want to die please come here wait uh, uh, uh. Okay, got him. Oh, I have a bow and arrow. Oh, I'm not that good at aiming. But oh, never mind. I spoke too soon. All right, hopefully nothing else. Oh, oh. Douglas, you're back. Uh, no, no, don't, don't fall in the hole. Yes, we got Douglas back. Is that our first ever pig in this entire 600 days? Where are all of my pigs? Hello? I only have cows here. Was Douglas my first and last ever pig to live these 600 days? You're telling me no pig has lived the 600 days on this one block? That is kind of unfortunate. Well, let's grab some fences here and start a brand new pig farm. You will carry on the pig generation i'm gonna call him mr bacon not because i classify him as food he is a, a living animal but he is called mr bacon all right accept it and there we go you will carry on the pig generation actually no mr bacon isn't even a good name let's call him techno actually let's call him techno the pig i actually came up with that name um by myself i definitely did not get that name from anywhere else <clears throat> oh no i already got a monster party what hello okay got my bow uh, oh my are you serious this is the monster party these guys are snails they can't even touch me this is the monster party i'm not even scared uh, okay maybe i am scared <laughs> maybe i am scared oh my god oh my god oh my god uh, holy cow i do not like that noise oh my god okay i have an enderman farm now <laughs> and they are all gone yeah i do not oh my god I, I, my whole island's infested by parasites what is this 100 days in parasites now what the heck They're everywhere are you okay doggy did i ever give him a name guys oh it was a, a cookie dog yeah i remember ow what the heck how did i hit myself is this a shulker oh it is oh uh, no no go away go away wait wait could, could one of those things hit my dog and make him levitate i kind of want to try hit the dog hit the dog come on he, he could he could go to the moon oh i can't hit the dog he keeps going around it yo you just hit oh my god he hit the dog no 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 i need water i need water i need water whoa how do i save him how do i save him oh no no don't die don't die oh don't die don't die no no, no. oh no this is not good this is not good this is not good this is not good come here come here come here oh no this is not good no oh i just saved him okay bring him to the water bring him to the water oh my god oh my god i cannot believe i just saved my dog wow that that was a clutch moment right there okay get on get on land oh you're safe buddy you're not dying today sit down i'm so sorry i did that to you oh my god i cannot believe i saved the dog that was so clutch go away caused so much harm to everybody here you're not welcome oh wow that was crazy bruh it just destroyed my entire waterway thing oh my god monster parties man let's fix it up here and bam 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 and bam all right enough chaos back to mining Ooh, i got some slimes they sound uh, pretty juicy bruh no matter what world i play in there are always creepers somehow spawning where where there are torches on every single block how does a creeper spawn i am so confuzzled right now anyways you guys know what i just realized it has been quite a while since i've been 
here. And I just remembered this world is it in hardcore mode. Hello? I did not die from that fall. Oh, I feather farm four on that. That kind of ruined the joke. Um, <laughs> let me just uh, awkwardly build up here again. Um, as I was saying, I totally forgot this world isn't in hardcore mode. Uh, how? 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 One and a half hearts. I just remembered this world isn't in hardcore mode. If I live from this fall, I'm going to go nuts. There's no way I live. Finally, I died. Yes, I can die in the world now and not worry. Oh my God, my stuff is everywhere. <laughs> but I can die in the world now and not worry about it. Let's go. Being stressed out by not dying in hardcore worlds is pretty painful. <laughs> but now I can die as many times as I want and not even worry. And now I have to mine this entire stone pillar away. Wow, I really trolled myself just for that little joke, huh? All right, before I do any work around the entire island, I want to go check out my other structures. So let's go in the end and go check out my enderman farm wow this has been a very long time since i've been here let's jump inside my swimming pool my little jacuzzi nice good thing i don't die and it's made out of leaves wow i don't even remember making it out of leaves oh that is awesome though <laughs> i should make a whole leaf island over here just a huge island made out of only leaves oh my god look how fast they move look how many endermen are coming oh my god i have a lot of ender pearls let's take some home jeez there's a lot of endermen in here and let's uh kill all these endermen and try to get some xp i think i have mending on everything right yes i do so let's uh repair some of my stuff. Wow, that is a very beautiful noise. Let's repair this axe. Oh, look at it repair. That is really satisfying. Will I have enough to finish it? I will not. And just like that, I have 36 levels and everything is repaired. Oh, having mending is a blessing. Okay, hopefully I don't fall off here. Let's play a game. Let's throw an ender pearl and hopefully I don't die. Okay, let's throw an ender pearl. I gotta split the... Oh, oh, that's close. Okay, yeah. I'm playing a risky game here. I'm just so impatient. <laughs> okay. Oh my god, there's enderman up there. Please uh, excuse me. Thank you very much. Oh, oh, oh I thought he was chasing me oh my god what did i do to this end why is it a mess there's things everywhere i must have been breezily bridging i actually haven't done that in like two months it's been a very long time but let's hop back into my world i also want to go check out my gold farm i remember i built both of those things on my last episode and i remember my gold farm wasn't really working that well i asked paul to see what was wrong with it so let's go up here i'm pretty sure it's up here somewhere oh my god that's a lot of walking i'm tired i'm fat oh i'm finally up okay that's a good while okay let's throw it in a pro right in this corner i think that's how it works all right i'm in and let's go all the way up there. Now we gotta climb. I just walked up like five flights of stairs and now I gotta climb. It was actually like only five pieces of stairs, but uh, let's just say it was like five flights. And I am up here and it's still not working. My iron golem is a little damaged and I made this huge platform for the pigments to spawn, but it doesn't really work. Oh man, I should probably fix this in this episode. But anyways, let's head back down. Let's just uh, throw an pearl down there somewhere. It's probably gonna take a while to fall. And we are back down. Let's go back to the world. Oh, this this is what leads me here. Oh, that makes more sense. And I have some ender pearls here. That's pretty smart. I'll throw some more in there. Oh my God. There's some, there's some creepy crawlers over here. Go away. Get off my bridge. Oh, where did you come from? Oh my God. He scared me. He just popped out of nowhere. He was hiding in between his father's legs or something. Okay. Make way for the cookie God. Wow. My island looks pretty nice from up here. And let's throw ender pearl. Yeet. Will that make it? Please make it. Please make it. I don't think that's going to make it. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, I made it. Oh, right in the middle. Okay, we're chilling. But now I think I'm going to remove this farm here and upgrade it because it's looking pretty out of place for my entire island. Everything's made out of spruce wood and this is just made of some ugly oak wood. So I'm going to make a brand new farm for my, my piggies, my girlfriend, my girlfriend's sister, and Paul and Jen. So let's get working. Let's break down this entire platform here because it looks pretty ugly. And I think this is the very last thing that was a part of the original like 200 days on one block. I destroyed everything else and transformed everything except this platform and this was the tree farm if you guys remember my big tree farm was right here i think my bamboo farm was here i had a farm right here a lot has changed from the first episode guys so if you guys want to remember what happened go check it out i'll put a playlist of the entire series down below starting off with day 100 but let's break down this entire platform here I finished mining the entire oak platform away and I just have this little strip of wood here. Should I keep this garbage can here for memory or should I not? I think I might remove it since I have this fancy garbage can right here in memory of my girlfriend's sister, the monkey. I think I'm going to remove it, boys. I'm sorry. I'm sure a lot of you guys are happy though. A lot of you guys wanted me to bring back this series so I can just make fun of my girlfriend and my girlfriend's sister. You guys missed those jokes, but please know they are all jokes. I'm really close to my girlfriend and my girlfriend's sister. So, um, yeah, don't get offended. I've been dating her for way too long do i not own a shovel in this world why am i mining dirt with a pickaxe hello let me go find a shovel in my chest i surely have one somewhere yeah a wooden shovel we're back to the stone age 
No, I'm just kidding. Get this garbage out of here. I'm not a peasant. And it falls right into my water stream, back into my chests. Oh my god. Of, of course it does. Where did it go? Oh, it is totally gone. Where is it? Oh, there's my netherite shovel. It's in my ender chest. Oh, I have some wither skeleton heads too. Oh yeah, I spawned this on my island when Paul was here. I remember doing that. I'm gonna have to fight the wither soon this episode so I can get another beacon because I'm tired of running around without speed. All right, now that everything is removed other than the animals, I gathered a whole bunch of resources here, like some dirt, some grass and some spruce slabs and let's start on the brand new platform that will serve as the new home for all of my animals and hopefully it'll be bigger because these cows are kind of struggling in there All right, that took a little bit, but I finished the platform for the cows, the pigs, and the polar bears. And I'll put a face of each animal for their home or something. So this would be a cow, this would be a pig face, and this would be a polar bear face. If I even know how to build those things. <laughs> but the first thing I'm going to do is light up this platform here. So no mobs will spawn because I do not want creepers anywhere. And we bam. Now let's fill it in with dirt. And I think I'm going to need a lot of dirt for this little project here. All right, so I put down some grass so the dirt will grow into grass. And the animals will finally have have something to eat and for paul gg and his family they have been living in poverty in this small little home with no snow at all so i'm gonna try to make it feel like home and grab some snow blocks and make them a little place that will feel more like home just like that put all this snow everywhere and there we go and now let's work on some fences that will surround all of these enclosures so the animals cannot escape and roam my island because they need to stay in their place in prison that sounds pretty cruel yeah, at least they have grass and snow now it's not too bad and if you guys watch my other videos you guys know that i love using trap doors now as fences for my farms especially the 100 days in the lava only world this just looks so much better than fences and honestly i think it works better than fences hopefully they can keep the polar bears in though because polar bears are pretty big and let's increase the height of this stone wall here so they cannot escape just like that let's add some torches here this is a no creeper zone oh wait torches melt snow oh no that is not good get rid of the torches and now let's make a little entry into the farm so let's break this little wall here and make a pathway into the farm also i think i'm gonna strip all of this wood because i like stripped wood way more than the regular logs it just looks so much better like it looks cleaned up what do you guys prefer the normal logs or stripped logs because if you guys like stripped logs we can be good friends now let's make a little staircase up into the farm here just like that and now for the challenging part i have to transfer all of these animals over there to their new home let's start off easy with this uh, little piggy here come on douglas v2 come on buddy come over to your new home all right i'll put you in here all right now that the piggy's in here it's time for the cows and this is this is gonna be a hard part there are a lot of cows here okay the best way to move them all is by using wheat so let's break all the girlfriends out of their cage they're free hopefully they do not run away come on look at look at the wheat guys no one's interested in wheat hello oh we have a whole mob following me <laughs> oh my god okay some of them forgot about the wheat but we have a couple of cows here so let's drag them over here i'm losing some cows but that's okay they can roam around a bit oh i only have four left oh there's a skeleton in there okay i got four cows inside their home let's kill off this skeleton okay i'm gonna have to put some torches here so no mobs will spawn and let's go get the rest of my girlfriends come on buddies oh there's my girlfriend there's the there's the real one right there we found him okay let's go into your new home oh yes i know you guys are happy come on buddies and there's only four cows left to get into the barn and the last one will go into their home there you guys go and now all the cows are in their new home and for a treat i'll just uh breed them all and give them some wheat there you guys go eat up this is your first meal in like 500 days have your babies and there we go we got a whole bunch of cow babies in the middle and now for the scary guys paul gg jen and paul gg's affair let's go to your new home and i will not treat them with respect so let's go come on guys oh i just lost one i pulled him too hard okay hopefully they cannot escape so let's try it come on paul come on buddy get in and i know damn well paul cannot jump more than two centimeters so i don't even need to test it with him there's no way he's getting over this block he can't jump he's glued down to his gaming chair and paul gg's affair there we go guys we have the lonely pig the techno pig we have all of my girlfriends and their little babies hold up i just realized my girlfriend just cheated on me with all of these other cows and i got paul gg and his family now let's break down their old home everybody say goodbye in the comments to the last thing that was from my old island basically from like day 100 of my one block world everybody say goodbye before it's gone this is a very memorable moment but we have to say goodbye to the old all right you guys have three seconds to say goodbye and once this quick time lapse ends your time will run out 
All right, and I'm done. Hopefully, everybody said their goodbyes in the comments. I will miss the old one block island. But we have a brand new island to work on now. Now, I would like to make a farm right over here beside the animal farm. Because on the other side, I want to be just as symmetrical and have an animal farm there as well and a crop farm down there. But a crop farm does require a lot of dirt. So, I'm going to spend the next couple of days just mining for dirt. All right, let's take a look at my chest to see if there's a lot of dirt. And look, oh my God, there's actually a lot of dirt that has built in up here in like the past couple of 100 days. I've never went through these chests before. I'm way too lazy to go through them. But turns out there is a lot of dirt I collected, which is really nice. Now let's start expanding this platform here to make some room for the farm. All right, so now that I got the platform finished, I'm going to make three sections of different farms here. So this one will be like potatoes. This one will be wheat. And this one, I have no idea what it will be. But over on that side, I'm going to make the same exact thing. But instead of a normal crop farm i have something special planned and i'm sure all of you guys will love what it would be so stay tuned but let's continue working on this farm here all right that took a while to add all of this dirt here and i used them mostly all of it but now let's add the slabs here to hold my water let's place all this down here i'm also gonna add a stone brick wall right here just to make it look kind of cool and uh, match up with this farm over here all right there we go now let's hoe it up love me some hoes that does not sound right um all right and after a whole meal i just ate i just ate dinner i came back and looks like everything is basically uh dark it's like all watered down i have no idea what the term is so let's go grab my crops okay this is my farming chest i think it should be yep everything's in here let's grab my wheat seeds uh i don't have any potatoes hello got some carrots and i must i surely have potatoes somewhere all right i did and let's start planting so let's make this one potatoes here let's make this one wheat and lastly the carrot which i'm basically almost done and there we go the farm is complete it looks pretty good i actually want to see a view from up there and yeet oh, i'm up all right oh actually looks really good it goes along with this pathway very well it definitely looks a lot better than that oak i'm pretty impressed i really like it but on this side over here the right side it's gonna have the same exact farm just like this but over here is gonna be the special part and i'm really excited for it and now i gotta rebuild the same exact farm literally identical over there on that side and i'm sure you guys don't want to see that so i did it all off camera yeah i, I literally held my sentence just to build this entire thing and then continue the sentence but it's pretty much identical it took a pretty long time okay i kind of want to cry now i kind of want to go for another food break to be honest yeah that sounds kind of good another food break all right i started working on the next platform over here on this side but i'm slowly running out of spruce slabs but luckily i have my insane tree farm right here and no spruce saplings there has to be some in my chests right somewhere oh there we go. holy crap we have a lot okay the only problem is i don't think spruce trees work with my uh, tree farm here let me let me give it a try i'll turn this on with some bone meal in it and let's put a spruce tree down let's see if it works i don't think it will it's not tall enough all right yeah it is definitely not working so i'm gonna grab a whole bunch of bone meal here and just do it manually over here so let's just keeps oh wait 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 you can make the fat ones right this gives you a lot of spruce wood oh yeah oh my god it's so tall it almost reaches the top of my mob spawner yes i was gonna do singular trees this is so much easier let's go all right so i'm gonna spend the next couple of days maybe two days just mining spruce wood because i'm gonna need a lot of spruce wood to expand this entire island into like a super big island so let's go yeah those giant spruce trees are so overpowered because i easily got eight stacks of logs like and it did not take that long so let's turn these into slabs here and continue expanding this platform something very special is gonna be here i don't think i've ever built it ever which is a huge surprise i can't believe i've never built this before so this is gonna be my first time and let's light it up with torches because, you know, you guys know me. I have terrible luck with creepers. They are not fun to deal with. All right, I gathered up all the stuff I need. And for this awesome project, I'm going to need a jungle sapling. I'm sure some of you guys know where this is going, but I'm going to need a lot of jungle wood here. All right, now let's construct the wrestle machine. I don't really know how to do this, but I think I'm going to put the pistons up here two blocks high. I put around like four right there. I go over here, do the same exact thing. All right, and I'm going to fill the space in between these two pistons with jungle wood now i'm sure you guys know exactly what i'm doing and i can't believe i've never built this before it's kind of kind of sad to be honest i think about there we go let's put a button right here let's make a staircase of redstone up like that and put redstone right there and that should work so let's click the button all right it pushes the pistons that way so it pushes all the logs that way and now connect up the other side just like this and i'm gonna have to add a big delay so i'm gonna use some redstone repeaters here to add a delay i think that should be good and let's give it a test 
test. Let's click the button. I think it could be a little shorter. So let's break one of these repeaters. I think I can get two down. Okay, we could break two more, I think. Oh, there we go. It's like instant. So these pistons push the logs that way and these ones push it back. Now, all we have to do is come over here to my farming chest and grab my cocoa beans. I'm sure you guys know exactly what this is for. And we put cocoa beans right here to grow. Could we bow me on cocoa beans? Oh, you can. Let's go. Oh, look how big and plump those are. Looking kind of thick. All right, let's get all this down and let's keep multiplying these cocoa beans. Bop, 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 bop. That's actually so satisfying seeing cocoa beans grow. And there we go. We got a whole wall of cocoa beans. I'm actually gonna make a stepping stool up here because i'm kind of short and i cannot reach it let's make a quick staircase up to the cocoa beans now let's spend some time to design this cocoa bean farm because it looks pretty ugly with all this redstone everywhere so let's put some spruce wood around here and you guys know i love having a strip just like everything else in life just stripped completely and let's make a cool little staircase like bam Look at that. Let's add some torches here, some extra lights, and let's cover up all this redstone with some stone brick. Just like there's a simple wall. And put the new button down. Make a cool little design for the button, just like that. That looks okay. Let's put the same thing on this side just to spice up this wall a little bit. And there we go. We have the cocoa bean farm. It actually looks kind of good. But you guys know the drill? Leaves. There's a reason why I have all these leaves. This will make it look 10 times better. Let's add some leaves up here, just like this. And this redstone is blocking it a little bit, but it should be fine. No one's even going to notice. As long as there's leaves and then we're all happy and there we go the leaves add a nice touch of greenery to the entire build i'm gonna be honest i should really like how it looks <laughs> i'm gonna be honest i have no idea how to make a cookie in minecraft that's kind of sad to say how to make a cookie in minecraft i'm a i'm a fraud oh you need wheat to make cookies oh that's a cake oh you do need wheat to make cookies you need wheat and cocoa beans i thought it was milk i thought you needed milk i was gonna bring all the cows over to my cocoa bean farm well, lucky me, I already have a whole wheat farm that's fully grown. That's perfect timing. But let's add a special touch. Let's grab some diamond blocks here and let's make three item frames. Ooh, can I jump across here? Oh, nice. And let's add something special over here. So let's put three diamond blocks on top of fences here. Put some item frames down. Let's put a cocoa bean in the middle. Let's grab two pieces of wheat and place it side by side like that. Add some leaves behind here and like surround it up with leaves because, you know, I'm the leaf god as well. And there we go. We have the crafting recipe for cookies and let's add a nice crafting table right underneath so i can make the cookies so let's finally harvest this up hopefully this will work so let's click the button here and it doesn't work nice <laughs> what went wrong here oh that's the problem right there now let's try it again oh there we go it works all the cocoa beans have fallen and now all you gotta do is plant them back but the button works it breaks all the cocoa beans for me let's plant them all back here let's grab some wheat from my chests and let's finally make some cookies bam we got cookie we got two stacks of cookies guys we are balling let's go Oh, we are the cookie god now. The real cookie god. Yes, unlimited cookies and leaves. Oh, I'm living. I'm happy right now. I don't really sound that happy, but trust me, I'm happy. Yo, my turtle's trying to leave. Get back in there. This is your home. Oh, wait, I have a sheep. No way. I didn't know I had a sheep. I thought sheep were extinct on my island. All right, I got my lead and let's save this sheep. How long has he been in here for? Oh, yes, get out of the water. His toes must be so wrinkly. It's been in the water for so long. All right, I'm going to bring him over here to this pen. Jump over. There you go, buddy. Oh, yes. Now you can finally eat after like 500 days of drowning in there. I also have a panda here. I think I'm going to take him too. Can I lead him? I cannot. Oh, looks like I'm pushing him all the way over there. Oh my God, this guy's heavy. Come on, work with me. You're so big. He is almost there. Come on. He just needs to jump over. Oh, actually, I can put these down, I guess. I guess that works. I have to do everything for this guy. Oh, there you go. I know you want to be in there. There we go. All right, so we got two of the three lots filled. But let's keep making some cookies because I want to have like an entire double chest of cookies. Let's make that many. Oh, yeah, we got two stacks and eight. Let's fill up this entire double chest. So let's collect some more cocoa beans. Click the button replant them all and harvest all of this wheat right here and let's continue making some cookies and bam oh this will make me a ton oh yes we're getting there we're gonna fill up this chest soon this might take a couple days though so let's continue this process like maybe 10 more times and i'll have unlimited cookies i'm going a little too fast the wheat isn't growing up yet i gotta wait a little bit wow this is taking a while to grow all right it's pretty much all grown so i'm just gonna harvest it i cannot keep waiting i need those cookies so let's keep harvesting all this wheat
All right, after a whole bunch of grinding, I finally got enough cookies. And with all these cookies, I think I'm gonna make myself a cookie room so I can like stand there and cookies will fall from the sky or something. I just need a spot to build it. I have no idea where. I do have a lot of space right here to make another room. So I think I'm gonna start with right here. So let's go grab some materials. And now let's make a staircase into the new room I'm gonna make right here. And there we go. This place looks so much better with walls. I'm actually so sick of seeing this place without walls. So it's starting to look a little better and all finished up. So let's make a little archway up here like that. And let's grab some leaves. And let's fill this whole space up with some leaves to add some color to the entire house. And there we go. I finished making the room. That actually took a lot longer than I thought it would. I do have some orange terracotta though. So that would be great to use to make a cookie. And I have some brown terracotta. I must have some more in these chests, I think. And let's start making a cookie. I have no idea really how. I mean, I am the cookie guy. I have no idea how to make a cookie. So I gotta make it work somehow. Let's uh, make it something like this. I made... <laughs> I made that so lopsided. Okay. I wasn't supposed to have that part up there. And there we go. That is basically a shape of a cookie. Let's add some chocolate chips right around here. And there we go. It kind of looks a little weird. And behind the cookie, I'm going to fill it up with leaves. Because like, come on. Come on, guys. I think you guys know the theme already of my videos. Cookies and leaves is all I need to live. And let's make some droppers here. I think this is how you make dro Oh, yeah. Here we go. We got nine droppers. That should be good. I have no idea how he got here. All right. I made a little platform here. So when I stand on this platform, it'll just shoot out cookies. This is a cookie spot we're gonna call this the cookie room now i'm gonna add some droppers behind this cookie here i think it'll drop the cookies through the block so let's add a couple around here all right there we go now i just need to line up the redstone over to the droppers so i'm gonna put redstone all under these pressure plates so wherever i stand it will turn on the machine all right bring the redstone over here let's bring it up to the cookie all right there we go so when i stand on the pressure plate it'll activate this piston which will push the block right here which will activate all this redstone right here and that will lead to the dropper shooting out some cookies at least i hope so if it does work all right let's go grab my cookies here there we go I'll put in my sugar box that's orange to match the cookie and let's fill up the droppers with some cookies and there's one last dispenser over here somewhere right there there we go okay i think it should be working this is a moment of truth let's test the cookie room this should give me all of the cookies once i stand right here okay let's stand the pressure plates yes <laughs> Yes, it's spitting cookies at me. Oh, yes. Now, this is the room I have to make in every single video. Let's go. I got a cookie room. I am the real cookie god now. Yes. <laughs> That's awesome. I should make a leaf room over there. Oh, my God. That is actually the best idea I've ever had. Make a leaf room over there. Oh, we definitely have to do that right now. And I'm going to check my iron golem chest. Oh, my God. So much iron. Holy cow. Okay, let's turn all of this into iron blocks. This iron golem farm is insane. I got so much iron from this thing. And there we go. We literally have like 10 stacks of iron blocks. That is pretty insane. But I really want to do something with all of these iron blocks. I don't really know what yet, though. I was kind of thinking of making a giant sign right here with the iron blocks, like what I did with Paul. And I'm going to put fans' names on the sign. Just to thank you guys for so much support. And I'll be picking random comments and subscribers to be on the sign every single episode. So you guys can actually be a part of the videos. So I'm going to grab all of the wood I have, which is not a lot. I have a lot of oak wood, but it kind of looks gross. And let's grab all of these leaves and all the iron blocks because I'm going to need all of it. All right, so I'm going to make a fat staircase around this entire loop. This is going to be a huge project, but it's going to be a ginormous sign right here. And I'll put all of your names on there. So start commenting, guys, and I'll pick you guys to be on the sign for the next 100 days. So drop a comment down below, something funny or something random or why you watch my videos. And you have a chance for me to pick you and put your name on my one block world. And there we go. We got the platform complete. I wanted to make it flat right here so I can make the big sign flat so it'll be easier to build some names but now let's uh, start constructing the giant sign this will probably take a couple days I'm gonna be honest, the sign doesn't look that big. I can only fit like maybe like eight names in here. But let's just work with it and uh, see how many we can do. We can always expand.
I'm kind of tempted to fill up this entire background with leaves instead of using wood just because it looks really nice with Paul sign. So I think that's what I'm going to do. Let's open this, grab all of my leaves here, and let's start filling up this entire section with leaves. This is going to take a while. This is, oh my God, I'm going to need a lot of leaves. Honestly, I got more complete than I thought I would. I might need like a couple more stacks of saplings to completely fill it, but it's more than I thought. But let's continue working. Okay, I just ran out of leaves, so let's go grab some more because I literally use all of my leaves I have. Come down here, break my ankles, and let's start shearing some leaves. Luckily, I have a whole bunch of shears in here already. All right, I got a whole bunch of leaves back and let's continue. And the last bit right here. And there we go. Let's take a look from the bottom. Oh, yes. A huge wall of leaves. Honestly, I might just leave it like that. That's kind of nice. So I was just taking a look at my big leaf wall until I realized this part. Look how many witches are up there. I basically have a witch farm at this point. Holy cow. That is so many witches up there. There's a mobs up here too. I'm gonna shoot them off. No idea how they lived, but let's go check this out. Let's see how many witches are up here. I do hear a lot. Oh my God. Oh my God. God. Look at all them throw potions. Let me come over here. They're all poisoned. They have poisoned themselves. They're gonna they're gonna end up killing themselves. Look how much mob loot is there, too. My chests are that full. There's mob loot everywhere. Okay, hopefully they all die from the poison. I don't think they will because they're all drinking their insta health. Maybe my arrows will help kill them. Look at those three guys. They're just chilling. They're vibing over there. Holy cow. I'm way too scared to even jump down there. All right, they're not really dying. They just keep healing themselves and then poison themselves again. So I might have to go down there and do it myself this might be a really bad idea though because they do throw insta damages but this is for the cookie army let's go into battle oh my god oh i'm dead i'm dead i'm dead i'm dead i'm dead i'm dead how to get out oh my god there's baby zombies in here okay that was a pretty bad idea i got all my stuff back though from the chests which took a while but all the witches are staying up there because i can't really do anything about it you guys win this time but now that the wall is complete i'm gonna grab some blocks of iron and let's go pick a random comment on my most recent video and your name will be going up on the wall of leaves yeah yeah i'm gonna name it that wall of leaves this is called the wall of leaves now all right i'm on my most recent video the 100 days in the lava only world let's scroll down here let's go to newest first a okay, scroll around and i will stop right here all right looks like tank is the winner tank vd west you is and day 33 epic thank you so much for commenting i'll heart your comment i'll say stay tuned for next wednesday because i shall your name out. hopefully he sees my comment all right so let's build up here and write down the first ever guy to be shouted out on my one block world let's put t t a let's make a n that does not really look like an n let's make this one a little bit bigger t a n and k bam and let's put a comma right here that looks like a comma right i'm gonna put some torches down so no mobs spawn around here and let's go down to take a look and there you go tank the first ever name to go on the wall of leaves so if you guys want your name on the wall and get shouted it out and be a part of my videos please comment down below for your chance to be on the wall and on day 700 i'll add your name as well over there my island starting to look pretty good i actually made a lot of progress this entire 100 days and we still have 25 days left to go but it's looking a lot more complete than when we started i got all these sections filled up so i'm really liking how this island's turning out but i just remembered i still have my three wither skeleton heads because this is my first beacon i don't have any other beacons around i really want to put a speed beacon beacon over there because i'm sick and tired of running around so let's go defeat the wither let's try to find some soul sand in my chests i know i have some somewhere there we go soul sand we need four pieces and all i need is a bow and arrow i think i should probably have a chest plate though because i'm kind of naked which i kind of like you know i like being kind of never mind but i think i'm gonna use this one let's just put it on let's grab some ender pearls just in case and i feel like the best place to fight the wither will be in the nether just because there's a lot of blocks over there so let's go in the nether here and try 
try to find a spot for this wither. How did a donkey get in the nether? What the heck? Aren't you sweating? Oh, well, I guess the animals don't really sweat. Okay, practice shot, practice shot. Bam. I can't believe I missed that. Bam, first try. Yeah, that was definitely the first try. All right, but let's go down here into the caves. Well, there's no caves in the nether. Down underground in the nether. And let's find a spot to spawn this guy. All right, I made a really long strip right here so I can back up when the wither does spawn. But let's get this guy in here. Let's spawn him into the world and get another star. So let's make a square right here to give him enough spawning space. Just like that. Let's put the soul sand down and let's cue the intense music. Bam. Go, 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 go. Okay, he's spawning in. I got my bow and arrow ready. He's going to blow up a big area though. Okay, here he comes. Here he comes. Okay, he's in. He's in. Oh my God. Oh my God, he's shooting at me. Oh no. Oh my God, he breaks the netherrack so fast. Ow, ow. Oh man. Oh, this is not good. This is not good at all. Okay. Ow, I'm taking a lot of hits. Ow, I'm taking him right in the head. He's just headshotting me every time. Okay, let's go over here. Hello, sir. Where is he? Hello? Oh, there he is. Okay, we're doing a lot of damage. He's half health already. He's almost dead. Oh my God. What if we use him to go mining for ancient debris? Because he blows everything up. Because it's basically setting off TNT. Just blowing up all the net of the rack. Okay, let's go over here. Right beside him. Ow. Okay, I can hit him now. Ow, ow. Oh no. I'm just scared for lava too. I don't want lava to spawn anywhere. That's probably going to be the thing that kills me. Try to go in there with my axe. All right, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Hit him with my axe. Hopefully he doesn't break my shield. Oh, let's go. Let's go. Oh, he's missing me from up here. Oh, I want to up close and personal. Oh my God, he's going crazy now. Okay, he's almost dead. Ooh. Oh, he's going to die right here. Oh, yes, we got him. All right, we got the nether star. Oh, I got ancient debris too. He did mine for me. Yo, I should just go get some more withers, like 10 of them, and make them mine for me for ancient debris. And then we can make a netherite beacon. Oh my God, I'm so big brained. I'm gonna. That's my next project. All right, but let's go back to my island. That was pretty quick. I thought it would take a lot longer. I thought it would be harder too, to be honest. All right, so now I just need a spot to build this beacon. I don't really know where. I kind of want to make it right in the middle of the circle, but my mob farm is right in the middle, and I don't think I'm really here that often, so I might make it right here behind this garbage can. And maybe it'll wake up George, because this guy's uh, this guy's been sleeping for a pretty long time. This guy's in a coma. So maybe the beacon will make him happy or something. If not, I'm gonna bring him a turtle friend. But let's make the beacon. I might destroy this garbage can, to be honest. It's in the way. Why did I put the garbage can right in the middle of my base? Like, it's so smelly and stinky. All right, yeah, I'll put it right behind my girlfriend's sister. All right, let's whip out the iron blocks. This should be plenty to finish this thing. And let's start making the pyramid. I think this should be deep enough. Hopefully, I have no idea. Let's just hope. <laughs> so I'm pretty sure it needs to be four levels high. So one, two, three, four. And let's start building the pyramid. I feel like it's not the right size. For some reason, I feel like I need more iron blocks. Is it four levels or five levels? Let's just put the beacon. Oh, I didn't even make the beacon yet. I was a little too excited. All right, let's make this beacon here. And there we go. We have two beacons finally. It only took 600 days. But now let's give it a power up. Let's give myself... I think I'm going to do speed two. There we go. Because I'm way too lazy to run. Please. It's so much faster. I could use an elytra, but my island isn't big enough to use it, I think. Let's actually give it a try. Let's go get my elytra. All right, let's see where is it? I might have lost it, to be honest. Um, oh, it was right here. Okay. Dude, oh my god. Why do I have so many choker boxes? When did I get all of these? What the heck? Alright, before I use it, though, I want to put Unbreaking 3 on it. Because I, I don't want to break it too much. So let's go get some levels. So let's hop into the end. Let's throw the Elytra on. And let's go. Yeet. Oh, yeah. Hopefully I don't miss. Don't miss. Don't miss. Oh my god. If I miss, I don't have any firework. Okay. Okay, we just made it. I was kind of scared. And let's get level 30. All right, I got 33 levels, so let's head back home and enchant my elytra. Actually, I don't even have lapis. I'm also forgetting things. Let's enchant the elytra, and I actually can't. Okay, I need to enchant Unbreaking 3 book. Jeez, I have no idea what I'm even doing. All right, so let's try to get Unbreaking 3. First try, smite 4. Nice. Exactly what I was looking for. Piercing 4. No, come on, come on, come on. Efficiency 4. Oh, no. I'm not getting it, boys. Okay, getting Unbreaking is harder than I thought it would be. Oh, man. Come on, I just need Unbreaking. <gasps> we got Unbreaking 3. Okay, I need to get back to level 30. After all of these books I enchanted, hopefully the enchant Enchantment doesn't go away though. All right, back into the nether, the nether, the end, and let's get to level 30. All right, and we are back. Please be still be there. Please still be there. Okay, I'm breaking three. All right, we finally got it. Let's get to the anvil and add it up. Let's call it the cookie wings. Okay, let's go. I got, I'm breaking three elytra now. Now I just need fireworks, which might take a while. First though, I'm going to disenchant all of these books because uh, I have a lot of books that I do not need. Let's disenchant all of these. And I actually have no idea how to make fireworks. I think you need paper and gunpowder. So 
I know I have sugar cane in here. I have a butt ton of sugar cane. And we need gunpowder. I have a whole bunch here. I have too much gunpowder. Oh my God. Four double chests. Let's make some paper and combine. Oh, that's how you make fireworks. That's flight duration three. That's a flight duration one though. I want the I want a flight duration of three. Maybe you need more gunpowder. Let's grab some more. Bam, bam, bam. Oh, there we go. Do we have more than three? Let's see. We have four. Oh, no, you can't. Okay, three is the most. Oh, it makes you a lot of fireworks, which is really nice. Well, my gunpowder finally came in handy. Now let's finally take flight. Let's go. Flight reacts. Oh, yes. Let's go. I can fly. Like, oh my God. Look how many mobs are in there. Let's go. Wow. Who needs beacons when you have wings? Oh, I need to get mending on this. Do you have any extra mending books? Let's see. Ow. Ow. All right. I just checked all of my chests and I cannot find an extra mending book. I swear I got a whole bunch of mending books when I had the mending villager on day 100. If you guys remember at all. And I actually lost all of my villagers. On day 200, I think, I had like a zombie apocalypse attack and it killed all of my villagers. And I was only able to save one of them. And he's been trapped in here for a couple of months, let's just say. I don't have any other villagers though to breed with them. So I'm going to have to get another villager somehow. And I'm going to need a mending book fast before these elytras break. So I'm going to spend the next couple of days mining to hopefully get a villager to spawn. It might be super rare though because it's any biome now. So any block spawn from any of the phases. So it's going to be pretty hard to get a villager to spawn but let's just test my luck oh no 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 oh everything's on fire everything's on fire where's all the fire at hello hello is there any more fire anywhere dude blazes scare me okay it burned down a little bit just a couple blocks but let's just hope there's no hidden fires anywhere oh i got a whole bunch of pears that spawn though let's tame them oh my god I have a lot of seeds let's tame them up i think i lost all of my pears from day 100 Come on, that guy just ate all my seeds come here buddy oh william is back oh my god how many seeds do you eat yo this guy just munched up all my seeds i have three pears now now, pretty sick still no signs of a villager though which is kind of sad oh oh my god i thought that was a villager i saw the legs and i thought that was the legs of a villager but let's continue mining this is probably gonna take a couple days oh i got another turtle he just spawned in okay let's try to bring the turtle into george maybe that would wake up george and make him happy again because his brain's been loading for like 400 days i thought my brain was slow that, bo that boy's brain's frozen you probably can't put a lead on a turtle that's kind of harsh so let's try to get this guy up there it might be a little difficult let's grab some stairs and let's make a staircase up to the turtle house house just like that all right buddy up the stairs you go hopefully they can go upstairs come on please come on buddy work with me i'm giving you a nice little home oh there we go okay he's going up kind of unstable though it will get there eventually okay, he's almost <gasps> no he almost fell off he's almost to the top here please don't fall off let's get him up on the roof right there yes okay let's drop him in come on buddy go meet george go save him go go inside oh yes we got george's girlfriend actually i don't know if it's a male or a female but let's just pretend it's a girl all right he's in all right george are you gonna wake up come on george okay he doesn't even care and she doesn't even care they haven't even acknowledged each other yet nice all that work for nothing oh man and after days of mining i finally got what i was looking for the villager oh oh he took the job of a farmer as, as the garbage can oh my that's kind of disappointing i kind of don't want you now he just took the job as the, the garbage can man all right whatever it doesn't matter at least i got a villager i'm gonna trap him right here so he doesn't die but let's go i have two villagers now one in there and one in here all right now i need to make a village farm now a little breeding area for these two guys or two guys i mean not two guys guys i mean they could okay never mind but yeah let's pick a spot to make a village breeding center and make them a little home i think i'm gonna make the villagers home right in this corner right here because i don't really have any other spot for them or i make it over there i i really don't know <laughs> but let's go grab some materials to start this build and having these wings are so helpful let's grab some slabs here and let's start building all right i made a little platform here just to fill up this corner and it looks a lot better filling up these gaps right here so i'm gonna do the same thing on this side And there we go. I kind of screwed up a little bit here. I think I built all of this stuff one block to the left. So like I can't continue this stone part here. But over here, uh, the stone goes all the way through. So I kind of screwed up over there, but it's not a big deal. Let's light up this corner here so no mob spawn. I, I think I said that like 10 times this episode. I light up the day with no spawn. I'm so annoying. <laughs> all right, now let's go grab some fences. And now let's put fences down so the villagers cannot leave because uh, they are in prison now. All right, now let's move the villagers inside their new home. Come on, farmer. This guy is staring at my girl. 
your old friend's sister. Well, let's go. I'll bring you to a better place. This is probably the slowest boat ride ever. All right, buddy. We are here. Go inside to your new home. This guy's like frozen. He hasn't moved since I've met him. And there we go. And let's finally let this guy free. This guy's been trapped in here for like at least 400 days, I swear. Hey, get in there. Oh, he's too scared to leave. Yeah, I'll let you free. Let's get in the boat. And now uh push you across the border. Oh, no, you leave it. Come on, buddy. In the boat. No. Oh, and he landed in the water. Hopefully, he can swim. Come on, bro. Come on, get up in the water. Come on, buddy. Get up there. All right, there we go. No, 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 don't, no. Again. Okay, run up there. Yeah, keep going, keep going. Oh, he's going there. Where are you going? Hey, stand still, stand still. No, no, no. Oh, yo. No, no, no. Don't go in there. Don't go in there. Oh, my God. Okay, he's up here. No, where are you going? Oh, there we go. Finally got him in the boat. That took so long. Hey, let's take him over to his new home. Don't worry. I have a friend for you, buddy. All right, let's get him in here. Break a fence down. Yes. Oh, no. One, one, eight, one left. What the heck? Where are you going, bro? Come on, you have a friend right there. Punch him in. Okay, we finally got him. We got both of them in there. Let's go. The best friends now. Well, not really. He's kind of turned his back to him. But now I need some beds so they can start breeding. I actually have no more food left, too. I am so fat. I cannot find any food. So let's grab some wheat here. And now let's breed all of the cows here. I have so many. But I'm gonna have to kill them for some food because I'm uh, I'm pretty hungry. All right, I think they're all breaded up. And now let's take my sword here. I have looting three. And let's get some meat. I'm sorry, cows, but I'm a hungry guy. And I ended up only killing like a couple. And I got 58 beef. There's still a lot of cows left, which is nice. Thank God for looting three. And let's smelt up all this beef. And I was only able to find three beds in my chests, which is understandable because I never really had a huge supply of sheep around here. But let's place down these beds here. There you guys go. You guys can make some uh some magic happen right here and i'm gonna need another sheep so i can breed and get enough wool for some more beds so let's keep mining until i can get a sheep that spawns which might take another while so let's continue mining and that is not a sheep that is a camel oh monster party monster party no 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 oh no not them not them i literally hate the flying gorillas no 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 oh, i hate these oh and the witch go away go away go away. i have no more arrows okay go go i can fly i can fly go 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 oh watch out watch out oh my god i'm going too fast okay let's go over here i need some food okay now them are following me and okay, now i need to go get some arrows let's jump over there fly through here hopefully no one attacks me dive down here grab some arrows bam 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 and let's go back to war where are these flying gorillas at right there got one some spot oh no no i hate witches wow why did you move fast there's one over there i think i got them all oh my god i hate those flying gorillas that was kind of scary all right let's continue mining oh my god i hate these sponges they just soak up all the water here all the time But still no sheep. Oh, no, that's not sheep. That's not sheep. Shoot it back. Oh, I was kind of clutch. I'm not going to lie. But anyways, I don't think I'm going to get the sheep anytime soon. And it's already day 700. So stay tuned to next episode on the one block world where I will get the sheep on day 700. Hope you guys enjoyed this. I'm sorry for the two month break, but I'm glad it's back. I hope you guys are happy to see the series back as well. Please subscribe if you guys are new. Like the video, comment down below and check out my other videos. I spend a lot of time on all of my videos. It's a lot of effort. Thank you guys all so much for the support. I love you guys and I'll see you guys later. Peace out.